Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people cut their own bangs. Ooh. When it comes to bangs and people doing it at home, people have done some awful, awful things. It always ends up too short or like going the wrong way or like it just doesn't complement their face shape overall. It's usually a tragic mess, but very entertaining to watch. But wait, before we get into it, it's giveaway time. <gasps> Since you guys have been loving Super Gloss so much, my brand new hair care product. And if you don't know what it is, it's an intensive at-home glossing treatment. It'll make your hair so shiny, so sparkly, and so damn healthy in just 20 minutes. I want to give away to 10 of you guys my brand new super gloss. And of course, like always, it's really easy to enter. All you got to do is follow X Mono Hair, X Mono Color, and me on Instagram. It'll all be linked below and just show your love. And this giveaway ends on December 26th. All the information will be right down below. Good luck. Super gloss is for you, for you, for you, for you. <laughs> Up first, we have Megan Margot. Is this a good idea? No. Is my mom, who's a hairdresser, going to approve this? Also, no. But do I care? No. You don't give one single f I already know it. I am going to be attempting to cut my own hair. Right. Not my own hair, just my own bangs. It's already so risky. So she's gonna cut some wavy bangs, which can honestly be even more difficult than cutting like straight hair. The waves are always gonna be at different lengths. And if your mom's a f hairstylist, why aren't you going to her? I thought I would spend five pounds on a pair of cutting scissors. We have actual hair cutting scissors. So I'm gonna do a little triangle. Oh wait, no, that's a big, that's a circle. Okay, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Okay, I feel like that's good, right? No. No, it's not good. I would recommend, if you're ever gonna attempt to do this at home, follow my tutorial. It'll be linked below. Also, don't start your fringe right here. Start it over here, where your sort of recession line is, because this is just gonna make her face look so narrow. It's not gonna be right. But I guess for me, I would love for her to add more thickness to that fringe. Okay, ready guys? I'm gonna cut it. I personally am not very ready. Three. Oh. Well, that, I was expecting you to actually cut the bangs, not just a centimeter. In the many tutorials, they were saying to cut up and not across, because apparently that's bad. Don't ask me how. Cutting upwards instead of across is always a great option. It allows you to cut less at a time, and it allows you to make mistakes and have it not be as visible. It's gonna be more forgiving if you cut upwards. It's still gonna give you a straight line, but it's gonna be a more diffuse straight line instead of blunt straight across like you can't make any mistakes sort of moment. You know what I mean? So great job with that one. The big secret to getting good bangs is not taking off too much at a time. Don't just like start down here like she did. Yeah, she's going in. It's getting shorter really, really quickly. And uh, when is it gonna stop? Ooh. First of all, I would like to say that she would look so freaking cute with a fringe that goes just like to her eyebrows, but is like more full. Like she has the perfect face for a heavy fringe. I dig it. Like I love, I love this vibe that's going on, but she needs to do more hair. Should I take more hair from the back? Take more on the side and then triangle that up so it goes to a curtain thing. But it doesn't look easy when you pull it down. It's parting funny. The biggest mistake overall is since her hair is, has only a little bit of texture in it, I would have definitely sprayed some water in there, blow dried the hair back and forth to get rid of that middle part, and then even straightened it into the position that I wanted in before then going to cut it. Should I do the sides maybe? Like just try to like... No. Let's start with this. Let's try to make it super straight. Megan, why are we still going out? Your mom just told you to go to a hairdresser. My mom said not to touch the sides, but I'm gonna just touch this side, I think. Just a little bit. What is that? She literally took off one strand of hair. Megan, what I recommend next time is sectioning out about an inch to the front of your head, pulling all that hair across, and then cutting off a bit at the ends. Listen, this is hard to explain to somebody who's not a hairstylist, but hopefully you know what I mean. Then when you let the hair back down the other side, you have good face trimming layered moment going on, and it kind of connects to your bang. And then you can go in and kind of refine it and connect it to your bang a bit more. But you need some layering on the sides or else nothing's gonna connect. Nothing's gonna make any sense. It's all gonna be kind of weird. Bangs are weird. You ever think about how weird bangs are? The fact that we've normalized having just a big section of hair that is just short in the front of your head and everything else is long. Somebody make it make sense. I really hope Brad Mondo's not fucking watching this. It's gonna be so bad. <laughs> 
I'm watching it. And yeah, it's bad. So after I got off the phone with my mom, I went to the washroom and I did the thing she told me not to do, which was layer the sides of my hair. Ah! Oh, no. Because I freaking cut my hair. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I gotta make the other side equal. So, oh. so I just cut this to match the other side. Oh, it's not that bad. This is probably the worst cutting bangs at home video and it's my own fucking video like i literally want to cry the bangs aren't bad they are actually really cute on you and with a little bit of zhishang and a little bit of styling this could be a work of art okay here's what i recommend are you taking notes are you ready are you ready for this we're gonna dampen the hair the fringe part we're gonna comb it all forward we're gonna put in some foam or something to enhance your wave pattern okay but while the hair is forward twirl some hair around our fingers so that your wave pattern is all consistent we're gonna let that dry then you you should have a really, really cute fringe at that point. And if it's a little sparse looking, rake your fingers through it so that you break up those curls and it expands and it gets bigger. And then go in and just make some refinements to the fringe. But I feel like you would have the cutest bangs ever if you just styled them in a different way. Cause I love this look. It needs a little something more. It needs a little bit of love, but it's super cute. And honestly, I'm glad you didn't go too short. Also next time let's layer the sides appropriately instead of whatever that, thing was. Yeah! Next we have Anastasia Sergienko. What do you have for us? Since I don't want to go to a hair salon, I'm supposed to like do this myself. And again, we have hair cutting scissors. Ah! I'm so excited. Sorry. Oh my god, my bangs are like looking like so thin. I don't know if they're supposed to be like this thin. Again, they're a little thin. It's like the last girl, like come on, give me more. I want thicker. Why are y'all being stingy with it? It's the season of giving, so give it to us. There's not a lot of things that I hate more than when you can see through some damn bangs to the damn forehead. It also just makes your hair look like, like greasy, like in a weird way, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're supposed to like comb it all to this side. The tutorial said to to follow your bone structure. Okay, let's go lower than my bone structure. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are we doing curtain bangs or are we doing a good front bang moment? Because for both of those things, this is not correct. First of all, I think you're trying to do curtain bangs. You gotta split them in the middle and then you can do this thing where you over direct the hair to either side of the opposite side that you're cutting on. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna get like a emo like side bang moment, but maybe that's what you want. I don't know you. I'm cool with an emo side bang. If I cut it right here, it's gonna be like up to here when I comb it to this side. This part is gonna be about here. I don't know. I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. It's actually very smart that she understands how this haircut works, right? I mean, it's a pretty simple thing, but you'd be surprised how many people don't understand it. So when you're over directing to one side, once you let it down the other side, you're gonna get that vertical line. And she understands if you direct it over here, it's gonna land here. If you direct it over here, it's gonna land here. Bravo to you. And I think, yeah, you could go a little longer. Let's start off long. We can go shorter. Oh. I know, it's a crazy idea. Should I cut it? N no. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> uh, for a second, I thought she really wasn't gonna go for it, but we fully went for it. Wait, I kind of like them. Wait. Wait, it's not bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was too much for me. It went from one second, shook. The second second, shook as well. The third second intrigued, you could even say. Actually into it. Why, how did it go from shook to intrigued so quick? Okay, let's let go like the rest of my hair. Let's see how it is. Oh! See what you just did? You just switched it up again. Are you parting the hair in the middle or not? Because what you gave yourself is a side bang, not a curtain bang. Now one side is up here, the other side is down there. What the hell? What, what's going on? Next time you need to part in the middle and over direct both sides and do the whole thing. And also let's bring up those face framing layers so everything is cohesive and goes together and blends and doesn't look like you have just a boop and then a boop. I could still like kind of like blend this maybe a little bit more. Oh, here we go. We're getting the scissors out. Ooh. My favorite thing is when you guys point cut because it just takes like four and a half years to literally cut nothing. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay, let's see what happens. I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. We're experimenting now with styling. Look, it's not awful. I don't like hate, hate it. But it's in my eyes and I don't want to cut it shorter. Girl, we went from a side bang to a curtain bang to now a front bang. Which one do you want? Make up your mind. Let's see if I could like hide them. Okay, first let's comb this way. The sun is like sticking out. Here's the thing. The technique was almost there. You know what you should have done better. I told you. And then the other thing is just picking it. What? Is the fringe gonna be? Is it a side? Is it a curtain? Or is it a front? And then we can go from there and we can decide how to execute it better. Um, also, next time you style your hair, give it a good wash and then blow dry everything forward before even beginning the cut. This will ensure that your fringe is cut exactly how it's gonna be laid at all times. If you have a round brush and a blow dryer laying around anywhere, please use that. It'll make it so much easier to style the fringe. Go forward with it and then blow dry it to the side and to the side. It'll look amazing. But overall, it's not like horrible. I think you look very cute with bangs, um, but you know, it can, everything can always be better. I think you recognize that. Next we have, I'm not a Chia pet. I have my tools. I've got a comb, quite a few, and a brush. Hair scissors, a pen to part my hair with because I couldn't find anything else. You just showed us uh, that you had a comb. A comb will suffice for a tool in order to part your hair. What's the pen for? You guys are always whipping out pens and pencils to like part your hair. Something I would never use. I think you need to make like a triangular part, right? triangular enough. Okay, I'm immediately worried because she has natural hair and I don't think she's gonna wear her hair curly. So she is going to have to always style those bangs and it is always gonna be a hassle and I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> Cause with a hair like hers, it often like sticks straight out if it's too short and there's no weight to it. If it's not like press flat, if it's not like straightened every single day in the exact position, it's going to poof out. At least we're taking enough hair this time. Everybody else was like see-through sections and you, no, not you. You are above the rest. It looks good except for these flipping broken pieces. It looks pretty even. I'm actually quite impressed with your triangle. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can envision what? it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I haven't even done it yet and I literally love it so much. I'm in this with you. She's so into it. I'm so happy for her. This is crazy. I'm actually gonna do this. Hold on, do I wanna do this? Maybe we should not do it. Do I wanna risk my mom's wrath? It's gonna take a couple years to grow out. Oh. Oh. I think I was gonna cut my hair. <laughs> there was so much that just happened in one second and it was all wrong. Why did we pull all the hair to the center and then cut it above your fingers and while we're pulling it down at the same time and while your hair is, has some curl in it? First of all, don't do that. Second of all, don't do that. And third of all, don't do that. What you should do, wet the bangs, blow dry them, straighten them, let them fall where they fall and cut them where they fall. Don't pull them down because you're going to add tension to the fringe, which is going to release some of that wave. And so when you let it back up and you let it bounce up and you let that wave come back, it's going to be a lot shorter than where you cut it, which is what we just saw happen. Now let's see how she reacts. Cut them way too short. Yes. Nice and long and like in my hair, in my face. And now they're like really um like blunt. It's like low key like way really bad. Like my hair is not trying to lay down straight or flat. No. The regret is setting in. Okay, I'm going to um part out like f the framing pieces. Oh, we're doing the frame. We're doing the face frame. This is the only way it could get worse is if the face frame gets worse. Oh, again, we're cutting one single strand off at a time. We're really taking our time when it comes to face frame, guys, but the bangs, no, we don't give a shit, right? Shoot, this is not gonna be even at all. Let's do a little blowout. Let's get that hair laid flat and then we can work on the rest, you know? I'm not scared for some reason to like kill myself with this. Why does it feel like we've never straightened our hair before? <laughs> let's take the sections horizontally. Let's get that straightener in there at the root and let's go slow down and let's just flatten 
the fringe. Once you take the heat off of the hair, push it down on your head. That way it sets much closer to your scalp than what it is now and everything lays flat instead of out. My hair is so short, oh my gosh. You did cut it pretty short. But why are we flat ironing our hair outward and not downward? It do this, not this. It's not getting any better, I'll tell you that much. It looks really uneven when I hold it down. Oh, I wanna get my hands on her hair so bad and just straighten it nicely and fix the fringe. It could look so cute. I just don't like how bangs look on me. I really, really thought I'd love them. I don't. They could be cute. We just need to style the hair better and cut them better next time. There's like no movement to them at all. Oh. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, you can't even like see it. We just cut the fringe and now we're trying to hide them right away. No, this is the worst. God. Next time, let's straighten the hair better and let's just actually use a cutting technique instead of just like, boop, cut it, boom, done. Like, no, it shouldn't be that easy. If it's that easy, you're doing it wrong. Ooh, those bangs were a tragic mess. But wearable in some sort of way, you know? At least we didn't go like too short. Make sure you guys check me out everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles and here's X Mono Color and X Mono Hair as well if you wanna check those out. And also all my hair care products that I personally make and create for y'all are linked down below at xmonohair.com. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.